Fat Shark has confirmed that Versus is still in development. Not only that, though, but they're planning a beta for us to give the mode a try sometime in the upcoming weeks. Vermintide's Versus mode has been a bit of a red-headed stepchild in the community for a long while now. Fat Shark originally announced the mode back in 2019 and then went radio silent for the next four years. They admitted that they jumped the gun and announced the game mode way too early, but it's always been a hot topic in the community on whether Versus mode was actually still in the works or if it had been scrapped in its entirety. As of December 18th, we know that Versus mode is going to become a reality. I can't lie though when I say that the entire mode concerns me. PvP is a very fickle thing to create, and while I don't distrust Fat Shark to make a fun new game mode, I also can't help but wonder if they know what they're getting into, because at the end of the day, developing a PvP game is an entire different beast than a PvE one. First and foremost, the way in which they implement PvP into the base game will determine how much of a chance Versus mode will have in the first place. If they choose to go the Chaos Wastes route and release the mode for free as part of the base game, then Versus mode will have a chance, but if they choose to make it its own standalone game with a price tag or a paid DLC like Weaves, then the mode will probably be dead on arrival because not everyone will buy it and get access to it, which is a huge issue. This is because the mode is a PvP mode, and you need a full lobby of players in order for the game to function in the first place, unlike PvE whereas the game can work without a full lobby. Additionally, the lobbies are going to be larger, most likely double the size at 8 total players, which will make lobbies twice as hard to fill up than normal Vermintide lobbies. Even just missing one player from these lobbies will wildly swing the balance of the game in favor of the team with the full players and make the mode less fun to play overall. So in order to allow for the maximum possible players, Fat Shark has to make it free and part of the base game. There also needs to be something that keeps players coming back to versus mode. As much as people don't like to admit it, gone are the days where people play games just to have fun. They need some kind of incentive or reward to keep them coming back and playing a game, and without that, the PvP mode will struggle to last. They can't make a progression system like what's already in the base game because it would give players an obvious advantage over one another, but there has to be something to keep people coming back. Cosmetics, player borders, a battle pass, I don't know. Vermintide is also a peer-to-peer-esque game, and that kind of system simply will not work for a PvP game. If the host rage quits, then the entire lobby is lost and will ruin the vibe of the game, so they need something to combat this. A host migration system would work, but having to pause the game for god knows how long while host privileges are moved will also kill the momentum of the game. They need dedicated servers to entirely negate this issue, and while it's not an impossible task considering Darktide has them, it's entirely up in the air if Fat Shark will be using them for Versus. Also, speaking of peer-to-peer -peer and dedicated servers, imagine playing Versus mode on a bad host. Vermintide is a strange game where your computer specs directly affect the ping of your clients, so you not only need a good computer but also good internet to host a game. I'm not a developer or a PC whiz by any means, but I'd assume having 8 players per lobby instead of 4 will make the hosting more difficult on people's systems and therefore create more bad hosts than we have now. Bad hosts in a PvE game are frustrating but manageable, but bad hosts in a PvP game can easily make the entire mode unbearable. And we haven't even gotten into the game mode itself. Vermintide is a fun PvE game, but there are a lot of issues with it that would make for problematic game balance in a PvP setting. For instance, people who have been playing the game since release are really good at hitting headshots, which can easily one-shot specials. Who is to say that a skilled Waystalker with Longbow would be an unstoppable force because she can headshot every single special before they even have a chance to react? Of course specials won't be moving in predictable patterns anymore and it will be your job to move unpredictably, but if headshots are left unchecked it's a real possibility that they can easily cause balance issues and make the special side feel helpless. Speaking of helpless, what about Stagger? 
I think everyone would agree with me when I say that ultimate abilities like shouts or charges should hard stagger no matter what, but as it stands, there is so much stagger in the game that it would most likely make certain team compositions too strong. Gutter Runners, for instance, are staggered into their backflip whenever they take any damage whatsoever from any source, and assuming no changes are made to stagger, all a Sienna player has to do is take Beam Staff, hold left click, and wiggle the beam to the Assassin player for an easy permanent stun lock and kill, which would probably make Assassins difficult to play if not outright unplayable if a Beam Staff is on the playing field. Some weapons, like the two-handed hammers, can hard stagger a lot of the specials with the right setup, and don't even get me started on Sister's Staff. The bottom line is people actually want to play the game, but if there is too much hard stagger, then people will spend most of their time having their control ripped away from them and will be unable to actually play the game, which is one of the most frustrating things that can happen to you as a player in any game in existence. Heat-seeking ults like Pyro and Waystalkers might also need to be tuned as well. I think it'd be hilarious to see a clip of someone spawning in and instantly getting killed back to back by Waystalker and Pyro ults, but that obviously should not happen. Now, to play Devil's Advocate for a minute. If Fat Shark just wants to make a fun, party-like game mode for people to mess around in and leave it at that, then all of my points above don't really matter that much. However, if they want to use Versus to not only get players back, but draw new players in, then they have to be very precise in how they handle Versus mode. Fat Shark knows what they're doing when it comes to game design, but we all know their update cycles can be… Mm, slow and uncertain to put it mildly, and that will cause issues if they want Versus to last past a few months. I think no matter what though, that versus mode will be a fun mess around mode to play with friends, but it's up in the air if it will be any more than that. What do you think about versus mode though? If you have any other suggestions, ideas, or conversations you want to have, be sure to leave them down in the comments below. See y'all next time!